Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to program automated flight missions with your DJI Rise Tello in a matter of minutes using an application called DroneBlocks. So unfortunately DroneBlocks is only for iOS uh, devices like your iPad or your uh, iPhone. It's not available on Android. But if you have one of those devices and you're interested in the Tello or have the Tello and you're interested in programming and thought about going out and trying Scratch or you haven't tried Scratch, DroneBlocks is probably going to be the application for you. It is very user friendly. It is very easy to learn. In fact, even a child could do it because the application was set up so that you can program automated flight missions by stacking together code like you would put together puzzle pieces or building blocks. All you have to do is select the flight characteristic that you want to use, um, set the parameters, and then stack them together. If you've ever used applications like Lychee or Waypoints on one of your DJI drones, you know that you could accidentally miss a height or you forgot to hit return to home at the end of the program. With Lychee, if you forgot to put return to home at the end of your program, you're probably not going to get it back. So. Um, I've created a very simple program. We're going to take it outside. It's a little bit breezy outside, but we're going to take it out. We're going to fly a very simple program that I put together with drone blocks, and you're going to see how well it actually flies that mission. So let's go take a look. All right, it is super breezy out here, but I'm going to try to do this, and I'm also hand holding, so hopefully, uh, you know, it doesn't annoy you that you might see a little bit of movement in the camera. But um, so once you got your program auto set up, what we do is you're going to go into the uh, settings menu here. We're going to look for, we got a couple different things here. You can save your missions, uh, you can create a new mission, um, you can launch missions, you can show the code for what you just created. Probably doesn't come across that good because of the bright light from uh, the sun. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to fly this thing even with this wind. It's not probably the best conditions to do it. I am standing in a uh, super wet area here, so if this thing lands in a puddle, it's probably going to be done. But hey, it's all for the drop, all for the, uh, for the vlog. So let's see what happens if we hit launch mission, see what this thing takes off. Mission is launching. Like I said, very simple parameters here. It's flying forward. Try to walk up to it. Did its flip. It's going to yaw 90 degrees to the right. It's caught in the wind. Hopefully, it doesn't get caught in the tree. That it flip. It is going to yaw again 90 degrees. It's going to fly forward. I only had this set for like 24 inches, by the way. Does it split? Y'all should be one more time. Should be performing a square, but because of the wind and me standing underneath of it, I think it's the obstacle avoidance that's going crazy. And now it's going to do a flip. Okay, so that was the first part of the programming. So now it's supposed to fly this backward. So it's going to do a left turn, fly backward, do another left turn, fly backward. Going all left turn. Fly backward. And do one more. Fly backward. Now it's going to hover for five seconds and then it's going to land. Hopefully. It's probably. Oh, it's got one more. Okay. Now it's going to land after it's hovered. Again, it's fighting to swim back, guys. And it's coming down. And is it going to land on the concrete? Awesome. So, again, very quick demo of what you can do with the drone blocks application. It probably would have been a better demo if I did it in a calmer situation. But there you go. So that was it. That was drone blocks. Um, if you're into programming your DJI Rise Tello and you want to get a little bit more uh, fun out of this little $99 marble here, I would suggest you go take a look at it. Again, I'm not affiliated with the company. I just came across it and I thought it was pretty cool. So I thought I'd let you know. So hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll get back to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.